Hey everybody, I'm Mama Baird and welcome back to the channel. Today I have another what's in husband's lunch for you. One of the ways that we save a lot of money here is by sending lunch with my husband. He works Monday through Friday. He is a car mechanic, in case you guys are wondering, and he does have access to a full-size fridge that they have for the employees, and there's also a microwave, a coffee pot, so his boss takes really good care of him, and I really appreciate that for him. He has worked in some places where there hasn't been a microwave, and he's just had to take cold food so it is nice that I have that option that I can send him some food that he can heat up. If you're new here I'm Carolina and I live in Montana. I do a lot of food bank hauls, pantry cooking, and canning and preserving on my channel. I also do little tidbits on how you can save some money and live a little more frugally. So if that's the kind of content you're into I hope you consider subscribing. I would love to have you join my family. Alright guys so let's get into it and I'll show you what I packed for a husband for the week. Hey guys welcome to another what's in husband's lunch. So I am really short on food, like I need to go to the store, but the kids haven't been feeling well, so I haven't been able to make it out of the house. So this is kind of a random, let's see what I need to use up, lunch for him. So I'm going to send him with a peanut butter and jelly. That would be a good grab and eat if he needs a snack, because I don't have any cheese sticks or yogurt right now. So this will be a good one for him to just grab and eat. This is some of my homemade grape jelly. It did get left out last night, so it's a little, a little loose, but that's okay. I actually made that from grape juice that I got in a, in a jug. So if you're interested in learning how to make your own grape jelly or any juice jelly, I can link that below. the container on the jelly. Noise. And then it'll go back in the fridge and it won't be as runny. There, there we go. So I'm going to put a sandwich on the bottom. And then I'm also sending him with more of that burrito in a jar. I still have some of that left. So I'm going to hold up the tortillas and put them on top. All right, so he has that, and here's a little bit of cheese, and then that burrito in a jar, and then he's getting more great Pop-Tarts and a granola bar. Very carb-loaded today, but that's what we got. Like I said, I don't have any cheese sticks or yogurt I usually give him. And then I'm just going to give him a little salsa for that burrito. Here's that little bit of salsa that I'm sending with him. That should be plenty for the two wraps. I don't know about you guys, but we always seem to have a big bag of plastic bags. We got like a bag of bags, you know. So I just send him his lunch in this bag because they have a fridge there. So he just sticks the whole entire bag in the fridge and it's easier than a bulky lunch box. And then he can just bring it back with the stuff or get rid of it from there. So there we go, there's husband's lunch for the day. And we are out of the waters that he likes as well, so I'm just giving him a to-go coffee. Oh, well, great. All right, I have another what's in husband's lunch. I'm gonna be making him a chicken sandwich. We still haven't been able to go shopping yet because one of my sons has been really sick so we haven't left the house. So I'm kind of just making them whatever I have. This is some leftover taco chicken meat that I made. I'm going to be making burritos out of it. But for now I have it and so I'm going to make him kind of like a mayonnaise chicken sandwich. Something cold he would like. And then a granola bar, an apple, and some of our pickled carrots. This is the last of them, so he gets those. And that's what's in his lunch today. Super simple. Time for today, what's in husband's lunch. I'm going to give him some leftover pasta that I made yesterday. This is just some shredded taco meat, like shredded chicken meat 
penne pasta with some peas, and then I had a little bit of Alfredo sauce and a little bit of marinara sauce that I mixed together. So that little bit will be good for him. And then we can munch on this for lunch. And then I have some homemade cinnamon applesauce here. If you guys are interested in how I made this, I can link it below. I'm just gonna portion it into a jelly jar for him. That's about a good serving for him. And then he's got granola bar and we're still working on those pop tarts, so a pop tart. And then he has a big water bottle that he's bringing as well. And that's his lunch, super easy today. I just remembered I had a packet of salami that I'm wanting to get used up as well. So I'm gonna send him a chunk of this to have for like a snack. He can munch on it on his way home or if he gets an extra break today or something. So today for what's in husband's lunch, I have some leftover carbonara here that I made for dinner. I'm gonna be sending him some of this. I ended up putting some Parmesan cheese on top of it and it just made it delightful. That Romano cheese was a little strong, so next time I'll probably do half Romano, half Parmesan cheese. Get in there. All right, so I'm sitting him with that. He's got two cheese sticks, a granola bar. I still have more applesauce here. And then he also gets a banana today. And that's what's for lunch. Okay, for today and what's husband's lunch. He's gonna be taking the leftover of this chicken pea pasta. You can heat that up in the microwave at work. And then I have a banana, got some cheese sticks. We were able to stock up, so I got him a new type of protein bar that's a little different than the granola bars to kind of hold him over a little more. Two cheese sticks. And then he really likes apple cider, and I got this at Costco. So I'm gonna send some with him at work so he can enjoy it there. Yeah, and that's what he's taking today. And that's usually a typical lunch that I have for my husband. At the beginning of the week, I had not done my grocery haul to Costco yet. If you missed that video, I can link that below. So then after my Costco trip, I was able to get some more lunch items for him, which I know he appreciates. Let me know what you guys put in your partner's lunch. Make sure you like this video, leave me a comment, and please share. Let's get the word out on how we can survive this horrible inflation, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time on Mama Bairds.